I was seven years old when I had a dad for about six months, Mr. and Mrs. Hall. They had two teenage sons, and the names were Paul, Michael, and David, although I don't remember exactly which name goes to who. Mrs. Hall did not like me because I was a problem child, which I quickly proved when I got expelled the first week of school. I stole and I lied and I had alcohol in my lunch and they didn't understand why. And I couldn't tell you why. It's just the way I was. I survived there six months. I lied on the boys. I stole their lunch money. I caused a lot of havoc. And that's the only time I had a father in my life. And you know, I wasn't very, very nice kid. And I proved that again by the time Joyce got me, you know, about six months later, and um, I got had cussed out the teacher the first day of school. But I was set in my ways long before she got me. I can't tell you why I was the way I am. The only thing I wanted was children. And I couldn't wait to have children. And I turned out I wasn't, I couldn't be the mother I thought I would be. You know, I had this, Susie homemaker idea of what I thought a mother was supposed to be. But today I can look back and it's like, I don't know where I got the idea. It had to be television because I didn't have an example. Joyce, when she was home, was either working or doing something and half the time she was gone. And I'd come home from school and my dinner would be in the oven and I'd put myself to bed and get up and go to school the next day. You know, um, I had no idea what being an adult was all about, but I don't regret having Garrett or Corey. They shouldn't be here. I was on birth control when I got pregnant with both of them. You know, they were miracle babies. And I loved them the best that I could. I wasn't a great mom. I had no idea what I was doing. I messed up a lot. I drank. I cheated on their dad. They have different dads. You know, they just recently found out. So, you know, they mad at me again. I could never do enough right. Seemed like I always did wrong. I looked up to Garrett because he was older than me. I figured he had a mom and a dad. He had more of an idea of how being a parent than I did. You know, I never thought anything about it. I just kind of went with light, whichever way it took me. By the time Corey was born, I didn't know what I wanted in life. I was so confused. I was trying to be an adult. And I didn't know how to be one. And then I met someone that made me look pretty. It made me feel like a woman. And that's how Corey got here. And I don't regret it because he shouldn't be here either. You know, the cord wrapped around his neck when I was pregnant because I developed toxemia.
and we both should have died. But God saw fit for us to survive. And today I know <clears throat> that I had what was called postpartum depression. I had had depression my whole life, so I never thought nothing of it. And I had no idea how to be a parent of three kids because Ryan, my oldest, she was five when Corey was born. And because of my mistakes, because of the fact that I couldn't stay faithful in one relationship, and I just had to move. You know, I just couldn't be comfortable. I wasn't comfortable in my own skin. Just, I don't know what was wrong. But I just could not find happiness. I thought I would find it in children. I really did. I thought having children would solve it. But it didn't. But that doesn't mean I didn't love you, because I did. I loved you with all my heart. I loved you the best I could. And I was fighting demons, because at the same time I was battling if I wanted to live or die. And I put a lot of that on you guys. And I'm sorry. I can't change the past. And I can't keep apologizing for it. I have forgiven myself and I know God has forgiven me. And I understand that you guys are not there yet. And I pray that one day you will be. I pray that you never have to experience the same thing with any of your children. One of the worst feelings in the world is wanting to be a parent your whole life because you didn't have it. And to find out that you're not parent material. I had no idea how to love, and I still have a problem with that, with hugs. I have a problem with this closeness still to this day. And I know you have expectations of what you thought a mother should be. And I am sorry that I'm not did not turn out to be that mother. But I pray that God gives you peace so that one day you will be able to find it in your heart to forgive me. You guys are wonderful children and you're great fathers. From what I can see, you're more of a parent than I ever was. And I hope that you will always be there for your children, like you want me to be there for you. <laughs> happy Father's Day, Garrett. And happy Father's Day, Corey. I'm very proud of both of you. I love you.